here. Um, I mean, it's just not on my heart to, to, to really get to really get that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Next. So I, I understand your take on that. Uh, Adam and Eve were punished in our in 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 in, in my reading of Genesis. Uh, you know, Adam and Eve. Adam was made to work for his living. You know, and Eve bringing forth her children in pain. They were cast out from the garden, and they became mortal each. Right. In fact, if I remember right, Adam had three punishments, and Eve had four. Uh, would Would you agree that they were punished? So their crime was done and paid for. I'm sorry. The crime was done and paid for. They were punished. Well, okay. All right, where are you going with that? Good. No, that's cool. That's cool. I just want to be clear on that, that their crime was done and paid for. So, because I'm, I'm getting to this, uh, you know, I'm coming to this idea of that there is such a thing as inherited sin and so on. Well... Let me think about that for just a second. Let me think about that for just a second. Their crime was done and paid for. Um, and I think where that's leading is, you know, then why did Christ have to pay for our sins? I, you know, they, they weren't made right with God until the, the sins were atoned for. So if you're saying, if you're saying that, if that they went from sinning to, to, and now that they were punished by God and now they're sinless, no, that's not the case. I mean, they... They they remained in sin and created sin and sin stayed with them and, and is still with us today. So, that, and that's the reason we need Jesus Christ. I mean, because in other words, if that sin was paid for, you're done, right? I mean, you're back to sinless and, and you don't have to worry about anything. But, but then why is it that that man kept sinning and doing it over and over and, over, and why does man keep sinning today? You know, so sin 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 never went away. It's it's, it's for us. What what is the what is the what is the price? You know what's the atonement? And, and for us, the atonement is Jesus Christ, who paid for our sins to make us right to go to heaven. Anyway, I I didn't mean to run off on that angle. I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, that's cool. That's cool. It's really good. Um, see, to my, to our understanding, to the Muslim understanding, what the Quran tells us is that well, they asked for God's forgiveness, and He forgave them because God is merciful, uh, and they had you know disobeyed Him, and there you go. Uh, in the Bible, in the in Genesis, they are punished, and from the Muslim perspective, that should be it. There should be nothing beyond that. Uh, once you're punished for for a particular set of a sin or set of sins, well, that's that. You've been punished. It would be unjust for it to hang on after that. The sin is wiped out by the punishment. That's the whole point of the punishment. Otherwise, what's it doing? What was the punishment doing? Uh, so we, we don't understand that part. This is one major issue uh, we have with this, okay? Well, you know, if they were punished, what's the issue with them, anyway? Not with us. Uh oh can, can I jump in? Um, and I appreciate that. I'm just not able to... You're coming up with a lot of great points. I'm not able to keep track of them all. <laughs> you're smarter than I am. Um, why... The, the, I think what it really gets down to, and I, it's a great question when you talk about... Sin. And and you know where do you miss the mark of God? Um, God each and every day in, in, in a whole bunch of ways. You know, uh, and Jesus came to to elaborate on the Ten Commandments. You know, and for example, he said he said you know thou shalt not murder. But if you look at your brother with hatred in your eye, have you not murdered him in your heart? And 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 that is you know and and the thought life, the you know adultery in the mind, and all of that. It's like those are those, there's a magnitude of sins that in, in reality man I don't see how you could be punished for those on your own without Jesus Christ to take that and that's a big piece for me I mean that's a big piece that I realize is that it's all of those sins it's it's my thought life it's my impure heart it's my motiv my personal motivations it's, it's it, you know those are actually more well they're they're more real and, and and they're more personal to me and those are the sins that Jesus paid the price for how we could you know if, if we could move to a spot that said okay you know I mean if, if I if I was punished for every sin that I did each and every day I I, I, w I wouldn't get much done <laughs> let's put it that way anyways I'm sorry go ahead you yeah, know that's good I, I, I think uh, you know what I was trying to do and I just better explain what I'm doing because 
uh, obviously I'm going in a certain direction. I've, uh, in, in, when, when I realized I was having a chat with you on this subject, I thought what I would, you know, what, how would I approach it? Uh, and yeah, I'm doing that. So uh, let me tell you what I'm doing. So you know, it's you, you know not not a dirty game I'm playing. Uh, what you know, if you see what I mean, I'm not into that. The game. What I'm trying to do is this. First of all, I'm trying to understand what your concept of sin is that I've got there, and then try to understand well the the things about Adam and Eve that we disagree with regarding your belief in Islam. Okay, how you know where the Quran and the Bible differ, and what your take is on that. So I was just addressing that, and we, I will I'll address that a little bit more in a minute. Then after that, I will I will try to exa expand on this idea of sin being requiring us to have will, and where there is no will, there is no sin. Okay? Uh, and therefore, we are only answerable for where we have will. And then, even, um, this so, so far, all of this will be related to what we call the sin of man in Christian uh, in Christian in Christian belief, the sin of man. Every you know the fact that we are live in a world of sin, mired in sin, right? Which is a fundamental Christian belief. Now, that's one thing. Separate from that is my sins, my individual sinful acts, me individually as a human being. Right? Obviously, Christ atones in your view for both the sin of man and my individual personal sins when I accept Him. Right, so I am treating them separately. Just to be, I need to do that just to be able to get my mind around. It. Okay, uh, so right now I'm not talking about the personal sins that you just raised, which are very important, and I actually agree with what you said on that. Right, but we will come to that if that's okay with you. Right. So on the sin of Adam, I think all I was saying was that it did not seem from the Muslim perspective to be just that Adam and Eve were punished and yet it is asserted that they are still sinful. If they made subsequent sins, well, that's for God to decide and so on. But insofar as those sins were concerned, they are done and paid for and they are no longer on the book. Okay, I've made that point. That's our view, and if you know, uh, if you if you wish to react to that, please do. But otherwise, we'll I'll move on to the next. Oh no, I'm 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 good. You go ahead. Keep going. Okay. So the next thing is, can I sin? Can I be called a sinful creature before I have made a sin? Can I be done that? Because in Christianity that, that it is done. Christian Christians Christians come up to me and say to me, Well, I have done sins. And they say all men are sinful. And that's fair. I you know, I would not argue, I don't have the evidence either one way or the other. <laughs> I don't go where I don't have evidence, right? That's for God to know. But okay, if you want to say that, go ahead. But then Christian belief is that, well, we are all sinful because that's our nature. Right? That I don't understand. Because for me, sin, for me as a Muslim, this is for Islam, is sin is a choice. See, what we do is actions. And some of the actions are classified by God, are judged by God as being sinful. The others are judged by God as being... It Our natures are... That is true that we can't make a choice. Well, then it can't be sin. Because the only thing that can be a sin is where we can make a choice. This is a fundamental point. I'd be very good. Um. Okay, let me let me just. Uh, here's what I was thinking as you were talking about that, and it gets into the whole idea of sin nature and and being born again in Christ. And a born again Christian, you know, you're the sinner. You know, it's referred to as being a saint. Did the saint sin? Absolutely. You know, but we we take on a new nature and we take on a nature of the Christ. Um. And 
I think that's I think that's the big piece, and I'm not sure that this is going to answer you directly. Is then we are going to sin. We're going to make those choices without Jesus Christ, and we're experiencing decisions based upon self. When one makes the decision to accept Christ as their Lord and Savior, all things have passed away. Behold, all things have become new. Then, and, and, and the 